solar cells. A team of University of Minnesota engineering students trotted out their project three okay, years in the making the on an appropriately sunny May morning. It can go at a sprint about 80 miles an hour, which is, I mean, it's a respectable speed for, uh, for a car powered entirely by the sun. This solar car, built entirely by the U of M solar vehicle project team, will race in the 2008 North American Solar Challenge in July. And regardless of the race outcome, the solar car is already leaving its creators with an enormous sense of pride. We've taken a list of rules and turned it into a energy efficient, safe, robust vehicle. The solar car project separates a typical engineering degree from the degree these U of M students receive because it gives them valuable real world experience. What's taught in class, what's taught from the books is very different than uh, the things, the skill set that we've learned while working on this project. In class, Team leader Sam Linnaeus says a mistake means a couple of points off a test. Whereas if we get the answer wrong here, if we have a bug in our software, if we have uh, a mechanical glitch, it means that we're likely on the side of the road. As oil becomes more expensive and scarce and environmental challenges continue to mount, the solar team's faculty advisor says the general public will ultimately benefit the most from the solar car project. As we run out of energy and we run out of air, Somebody's got to design a techno fix to get us out of some of these messes. That's what they're here for. The students say aspects of this vehicle could very well end up in future hybrid and electric car models. But saving the world, as important as that is, will come with time. First, the U Solar team has a race to win. In the last race, the University of Minnesota car, uh, Borealis 3, placed second, and we are expecting to beat that this year not to mention pick up some valuable experience along the way. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.